啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。In development. Famed archaeologist and former owner of the Millennium Falcon returns to the video game universe in LucasArts' third-person epic, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. Built for the Wii, this adventure demands nearly as much from the player as his on-screen counterpart, thanks to the use of the console's magical controllers. Use the Wii mode and nunchuck to throw punches, headbutt maniacal minions, row a boat, pilot a biplane, and liberally crack the whip to give the Nazis the slip. Set in 1939, the story takes Indy from San Francisco's Chinatown to the lush jungles of Panama to battle his latest rival, Magnus Vlaa, in a roller coaster paced race to find a relic of biblical proportions, the Staff of Moses. Features include the aforementioned gesture based combat system, daring contextual escapes along with a four player versus mode, and cooperative gameplay. Can an older short round or Willie Spielberg be the second controllable character? I wonder. Old-timers will also appreciate the chance to unlock and play the classic point-and-click PC game Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Hopefully, Harrison Ford will commit to the voiceover work for the game since the stunts will be minimal in this potential outing as Indy. Rated T for Teen and Temple of Doom! Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings is available June 9th for the Wii. In my console! Oh yeah! Hulkamaniacs, get ready for THQ's third-person fighter, Legends of WrestleMania. But where's the macho man? Uh, yeah. The best moments of the premier professional wrestling event for the past quarter of a century come to life as up to six players control 40 of the greatest performers to ever enter the ring from the 1980s and the 1990s. Do the names Hulk Hogan, The Rock, Iron Sheik, Undertaker, Andre the Giant, or Bam Bam Bigelow make you more excited than the Ultimate Warrior with Jock Itch? Then imagine handling these lugs in some of the matches that made them legends. Specifically, a player can appreciate key parts of their careers drawn from the first 15 WrestleManias. Most worthwhile is the Tour Mode, where a player picks a wrestler to relive, rewrite, and redefine the events. Additionally, a Legend Killer Mode includes the creation of a new contender to Irish whip dozens of opponents into submission. Older fans will love the archival video clips of the actual matches and pre-events called from the classic televised broadcasts. Even though the wrestlers look like Stretch Armstrong dipped in Nevada oil, they are easy to control and loaded with signature moves. Legends of WrestleMania succeeds through tugging the nostalgia strings devoted to the eclectic super personalities that have made professional wrestling so entertaining. Unfortunately, its accessibility as a history lesson for the average fan will not appeal to the hardcore wrestling gamer who will find the subpar game mechanics and any realism lost in its limited charm. Legends of WrestleMania is available for the PlayStation 3, Wii, and Xbox 360. Rated T for teens. And I'm gonna tear your esophagus out, Iron Sheik! What we mean, I say, Pontiac Silverdome! That's all for this episode of Zadzook's Video Game Minute. Thanks for watching and playing. I'm Joseph Zedkowski. <laughs>